Hi, it's Matt from CBD Genie. And I'm Jonathan. And uh, we've just uh, uh, previously done a video where I waffled a lot and <laughs> rabbited on uh, about stuff to do with the FSA, the Food Standards Agency. And uh, it has been suggested that nobody was interested. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And maybe no, no one gives a shit. Um, so, uh, Jonathan, um, do you want to talk about the FSA? Yeah, well, I, th I think the only, only point to really make about it is the fact that the FSA have got, the Food Standards Agency have got involved in the CBD market. They've tried to impose some regulation, whereas previously it was unregulated. So they're, they're effectively come up with a definitive list of, of companies who are now uh, legally allowed to sell CBD. Uh, and it's a database you can go and search. So if you see a CBD company out there uh, of a product and you want to check that it is um, been fully, um, not sort of approved, but monitored and checked by the FSA, you can go to their database and check it. There are now, uh, how many were there? 700 odd companies? Yeah, and thousands of products. Thousands of products. Actually, it, it is amazing. Yeah. Actually, we, we've been through the whole list, looking at it in, in detail. To try and figure out yeah. who who's out there. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's the sort of probably a snappier version of <laughs> of my waffly one. Um, but if you like waffle, go and look at mine. <laughs> if you don't like waffle, that, yeah, that basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but I mean I mean so you know I, I think apart from people going and checking it, what what do you think the, the this list is going to do for the whole industry? Is is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Yeah, it is. It is a good thing. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got a process of producing something that people eat, uh, which involves a chemical process, if you like. You know, there is a process to producing these products, and uh, I, yeah, of course, it's a good thing. People want to know that it's safe. They, you know, they want to know that what they're eating isn't going to have some toxic result on their body. So yeah, it is good, um, but. Regulation for regulation's sake, no. Yeah. So hopefully, the FSA and the government and the system will not take it too far because you know the cbd market wants to have the freedom to be able to grow and develop it's good stuff well that's right yeah i guess that's where you get you know that's what's really allowed it to to grow to where it is it's that innovation but you know i mean to bring into the the mix as well is the fact that i think the eu are trying to get their heads around this whole uh, regulatory market um but apparently the eu have got issues with full spectrum CBD, yeah, they do. You know, they yeah. don't really seem to have necessary problem with the broad or the isolates. So, you know, but that, that full spectrum, and and now there's a concern that actually, what's happening in Europe, for them to put a regulation on it, it might impact what's happening in the UK. So I think you know everybody's trying to. No, it probably depends who the new PM is going to be, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, that, that sort of dates this video. Well, maybe legalise yeah. cannabis before we know it. <laughs> you know, uh, Are any of them saying they're going to do that? No. no. <laughs> I don't think so. No, um, but but maybe they'll at least allow people to grow and cultivate hemp. Would be the, the market. The market need the market needs a degree of regulation, uh, yeah. particularly over, for example, companies making claims about their product that are not true um, or stretched so thin. It's like you know, I mean, such as for example, the idea that certain CBD based products are going to be beneficial for your health but the reality is there's so little cbd in it that it's it's just it's, I, I it's think, like jumping on the bandwagon yeah i mean um, i think that that's one issue and i think another thing that's come out from people looking at stuff is is making sure that what people put on the label as to how much cbd yeah. actually is is true because i know yeah. some lab people have been doing random lab tests and they might be putting yeah. you know yeah thousand milligram cbd and, and it's nothing, actually only got nothing like it. In it yeah or the opposite um, so yeah the regulation you can see it's important from it's that it's point important that from a certain point of view but not so that it it stifles and chokes the the cbd growth no. um no. because you know it's a good good thing um, it is and I, and I think that's it you, you you do need that innovation people thinking about the right sort of products that fit with people's sort of lifestyles like you said that do give them enough of the cbd in it that actually it is going to make a difference because like you said you know we've looked at products where they've got five milligrams of CBD yeah. in it, and you're thinking, well, that's not going to really not make really. any... And potentially really. damages uh, people's perception of CBD, because they get, if they get no benefit from it, they'll think, well, what's yeah. the point? Exactly, exactly. Anyway, if you've got yeah. questions uh, of us, uh, we'd be happy to answer. So well, ask, it, ask in the... We can try. Yeah. 
<laughs> we can try. And where we get out of our depth, we, we, we know a few people who know yeah. a lot more than us and we can uh, refer maybe. But uh, yeah, ask, it, ask in the comments. If you give us a like, give us a follow, that'd be fantastic. Um, we're going to sort of build on some chatty type um, videos as we go. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll come on, come on the journey with us. Yeah, and uh, we'll put a, a link in the comments as well to that FSA uh, database so you can go and have a look for yourself. Yeah, see you next time. See you then.